Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. We're just getting ready for the day still. And Gabby made a crazy discovery. Day 13. Our bunnies are 13 days old, and this morning one was out of the nest. Oh, I can see that him. One, yeah. He went out and he was walking, walking around. around. And then he's like, whoa, this is too crazy, this world. Way cold. Way too cold. I need to go back to bed. Can you pull it, pull it up for him? You guys can't probably see him. Just a little pile of white in there. There he is. They're all in there. Oh my god, he's so sweet. So it's the beginning, you guys. They're starting to come out of the nest. No, because Daisy was there. Yeah. yeah, and he was like, oh, I'm going to get my mother. <laughs> and we need I to get some more hay. Put... Sophie's been learning in math um, rounding. And she's like, oh, I hate this, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And I said, rounding is one of the things that you actually use in math, huh, Sophie? Mm -hmm. So I was telling her that when she goes to the grocery store, she'll always want to keep a running um, a total of how much money she's spending so that she knows that she's not wasting too much money. And I explained how she's gonna, how she needs to round. So today we're headed down to the grocery store and the girls are both going to pick out the items that they want to use in their smoothies because we've been having smoothies. And they're gonna round it in their head and they're gonna calculate how much money they're going to spend and then we're gonna see how much money they thought they were gonna spend and how much money they actually ended up spending so we're gonna do that right now at the grocery store fun little fact though some most people think that homeschool is school at home and actually homeschool is a different way of learning it's learning through life and through living and not just book work and that's one of the big benefits for us is that we can go on little trips like this that we bought Gabby how much did you think it was gonna cost 10 to 20 10 to 20 dollars how much did you think it was gonna cost uh, $30, $30. okay so you thought it was gonna cost $30 you thought it was gonna cost 10 to 20 dollars how much did it cost 45.95 super expensive but on the bright side we got a donut Gabby got bread <laughs> That's all that matters, right? As long as we got bread. I got my super what? special Italian bread, and then we sliced it up. Sophie got a uh, two uh, years pretzel. ago. A pretzel. <laughs> heading out to do a little bit of shopping because the girls have horse cam tomorrow. It's um, a PA day here, meaning that the kids don't have school. So our instructor runs a horse camp and they need something easy to take for lunches. But while Sam and I are gone, I want you guys to take this opportunity to watch my lesson this week. My goal this week was to master the trot poles and master getting Sabrina over them without stopping. I knew exactly what I needed to do and I was prepared to do it. But then the uh, change in saddle from a Western saddle to an English saddle ended up being my undoing. I kept losing my feet, my, my stirrups, I, my feet just kept going right through the stirrups and I was barely even managed to do any of the things that I have been able to do. So. Oh, I was so frustrated. It is so hard to learn riding. It's one of the most challanging hence, things. Hence the term 
heels down, toes up. I know, but whenever I get going too fast, I lose my, my heels down. Anyway, it's a work in progress. I'm determined to get this, you guys. I may be the slowest learner in the history of horse learning, but I'm gonna do this. So anyway, I want you guys to see what happened in my lesson. You guys can watch it now. Hi. We're here at the barn and it snowed. Okay. Why is her hate swallowed? Hi Lola. Hi pretty, she's such a nice horse. Jasmine, come back. And there's Sabrina with Spencer. Spencer's her first boyfriend and then Tex is her second. Look, they're all standing in the trees. They're like, help, it's windy. So we pulled Sabrina out. Oh my gosh. And all the boys followed us. They were all in a line. And Blue just told Tex, get out of my way. Just nosed them. No, he, he did this. He went, grabbed his blanket and pulled it with his teeth. Is that what he did? Yeah. Hard trot. We're just gonna sit for a minute. We're gonna sit first and get comfortable and then we're gonna go into our rising. So pull your toes up. Hold on with your thighs gently and ask her to trot. Good. Lower down. There you go. Oh, she's, she's trying to. It's an experiment when you ride. You try stuff to see what works and what doesn't. Check in with your heels. Your heels need to be down a little bit more. There. Now, coming out of this corner here, she's going to speed up. Pull back gently on your reins. There you go. And your one rein is shorter than the other, hence why you just pulled her off the rail.
What's going on? You guys getting Jasmine ready? Yeah. Are you? Who's riding Jasmine? Not me. Oh, Not me. oh better warm up the oh, bit. Yeah, this is. Oh, she doesn't wear a bit. Oh, she doesn't wear a bit. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh, lucky Jasmine. Lucky Jasmine, you don't wear a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, because she has a real This yeah. is what Sophia wants to ride, Jasmine. Okay. And then. This is like a gel pad. Yeah, but with really Should we get one of those? What do you think? Is that for old horses or what? You don't know, neither do I. We'll have to look it up. That looks good. Looks good.
Okay, we started doing this new trick. You might have to take off your... Pretty cool. <laughs> She's amazing. So anyway. Her down in salt. Yeah, go ahead. Just wait. Give Can't her the... I promised her if she picked all, all her four feet that really nicely, then hey, then she would get um, lots of treats. That's the coolest. Yeah. <laughs> She's so good at it now. There's Spencer coming like a good husband to meet his wife. It's like, there you are. Come on, he says. All right. Listen, dude, you have to go. Look at there's like a welcoming party. Aw, aw, they're friends. Oops, <laughs> Spencer said, I'll eat that camera. I absolutely love this neck for her. It's the first time she's actually getting to wear it. Um, our instructor said that it's too warm out for her to have a heavyweight blanket, but we put the neck on just because she was all icy and I love Champion. I honestly, it's the only company I'm gonna buy blankets from again. Yeah, and they aren't sponsoring this video. But yeah, they're not sponsoring this video. Uh-oh. Get out of her face. No. Look at this cute pony. She's a pony. She'd be perfect size for for Sophia. Do you think she'd be? Do you think she's beginner safe? Because I think she'd be she'd be perfect for I Sophie. I think she would be good for walk and trot. She can jump. This horse is trained to jump. Ooh, ooh, my belt. <laughs> yeah, horsey kisses. Winter horsey kisses. I realized that in a last video, in a recent video, I introduced Finn, Finnegan, as a possible horse we could buy. And I didn't give much detail on him, but basically he is 16 one or 16? I think he's 16 one. 16 oh. hands high. He's a good size for us. And he's like, let he me wants out. And he belongs to somebody at the barn who has two horses. And the next time she's here, we're going to ask if we can try him. And he's almost seven, so he's young for us. And he he doesn't jump high yet. He's good for low level jumping, which is where Gabby's at. So um, we'll obviously keep you updated on him because we will be trying him soon, hopefully. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.